So, now under section 3 exercise only let us solve the problems. First problem evaluate integral of sin 2 x by a cos square x plus b sin square x dx. Let i is equal to integral sin 2 x by a cos square x plus b sin square x dx. Just see in the numerator, in the numerator we have sin 2 x. So, it is clear that sin 2 x is the derivative of sin square x, even sin 2 x is the part of the derivative of cos square x. So, better you can say a cos square x plus b sin square x is equal to t. So, put a cos square x plus b sin square x equal to t. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. So, this is cos square x is 2 cos x minus sin x. So, this is a minus a times 2 sin x cos x plus this is 2 sin x cos x b times 2 sin x cos x dt by dx. This 2 sin x cos x, 2 sin x cos x is nothing but sin 2 x. So, this is b sin 2 x minus a sin 2 x of dx is equal to dt. So, now sin 2 x is common, we can write b minus a of sin 2 x dx is equal to dt. That means, multiply both numerator and denominator with b minus a. This we can write 1 by b minus a integral of 1 by a cos square x plus b sin square x into b minus a times sin 2 x dx. It is clear this will be dt, this is t. So, 1 by b minus a integral 1 by t dt. Integral 1 by x dx is log mod x. So, here 1 by b minus a log mod t. What does it mean by t? t equals to a cos square x plus b sin square x. So, 1 by b minus a log mod a cos square x plus b sin square x plus constant of integration. Second one, evaluate integral 1 minus tan x by 1 plus tan x dx. i is equal to integral 1 minus tan x by 1 plus tan x dx. See tan x is equal to sin x by cos x. So, integral 1 minus sin x by cos x by 1 plus sin x by cos x dx take LCM cos x. This we can write cos x minus sin x by cos x and by cos x plus sin x by cos x dx. This cos x cos x gets cancelled. We have integral cos x minus sin x by 
cos x plus sin x dx. Just observe the numerator. Numerator is the derivative of the denominator. So, that means log of denominator we can write it. That means if the denominator is f of x, numerator becomes f dash x. Integral f dash x by f of x dx is log mod f of x already we have studied. So, therefore, since integral f dash x by f of x dx equals to log mod f of x plus c. So, cos x derivative minus sin x, sin x derivative is cos x. So, log mod cos x plus sin x plus constant of integration. Now, let us go to the next problem here third one evaluate integral cot of log x by x dx ok now solution let i is equal to integral this can be written cot of log x into 1 by x dx so, whenever 1 by x dx is there in the integrand, we can say log x is equal to t. So, put log x is equal to t. So, now differentiate on both sides 1 by x dx is equal to dt. This will be dt, this is t. So, now this equals to integral cot t dt integral of cot x is log mod sin x. This is log mod sin t, but t is log x, this one. So, log of mod of sin of log x plus constant of integration. Fourth problem. Evaluate integral of e power x cot e power x dx. Now, i is equal to integral of cot e power x into e power x dx right down. Let us say this e power x is equal to t. Put e power x is equal to t. So, e power x dx is equal to dt. This will be dt, this is t. Integral cot to t dt. This is log mod sin t dt. Sin t. t is e power x log mod sin of e power x plus constant of integration. Let us move to the fifth problem. Fifth one integral sec of tan x into secant square x dx. Solution Let us say i is equal to integral sec of tan x into secant square x dx. This secant square x is the derivative of tan x. So, put tan x is equal to t. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. So, we get secant square x dx is equal to dt. This will be dt, this will be t. So, integral of secant t dt what is the integral of secant x dx? That is log mod secant x plus tan x. Since the derivative of log, log mod secant x plus tan x is secant x. So, antiderivative. So, that means integral of secant t dt is log mod secant t plus tan t plus constant of integration. t nothing but tan x log mod sec of tan x plus tan of tan x plus constant of integration. 
need not be written here, we can write direct last at long. Next sixth one. Evaluate integral of root sin x into cos x dx. Okay, let us solve this problem. Solution i is equal to integral root sin x cos x dx. Put sin x is equal to t. If you differentiate both sides with respect to x, we get cos x dx is equal to dt. This will be dt. Integral root t dt. What is the integral of root x dx? That is 2x root x by 3. So, this we can write 2t root t by 3. t nothing but sin x. 2 by 3 sin x root sin x plus constant of integration. 